God in his sovereign providence has brought you together today at, for this moment. So to God be the glory. God ordained the marriage to be an earthly picture of the relationship between Christ and the church. Jesus Christ loved the church according to Ephesians 5. His love for the church is sacrificial and unconditional. We talked a little bit about that as well. He laid down his life to present the church, his bride, whole and complete. Dear Alexis, we met in COC class, and if Megan hadn't sat us next to each other, we might not be here today. I suppose that fate is funny in that way. If it be fate or by some random chance, I'm eternally grateful for every moment I've had with you. I think that my life has improved for the better ever since I've met you. You're the reason that I wake up in the morning and have motivation to get through the day. I look forward to spending time with you, and being with you makes my day so much better. Though we've only been together for six years, it feels like it has been forever and I look forward to the rest of forever. I believe that you are my soulmate and that we are truly meant to be together. You have taught me to love, laugh, and care more than anyone else in this world, and I hope that I have been able to do the same for you. You mean everything in this world to me, and I would do absolutely anything for you in life. I love you. This passage from Ecclesiastes illustrates the importance of Christian companionship. Two Christians that are bound together in Christ, in Christ are stronger than the, than the individuals themselves. We believe that Christian marriage is about more than union of one man and one woman. The Bible teaches us that God performed a miracle in our marriage, uniting us together in a covenant relationship with Him as one. The cord of three strands is a symbol of that sacred union created here today.